This is the Concorde, the only supersonic commercial jet that can cross the Atlantic in three hours. So why did it fail? Firstly, despite being an engineering marvel, the Concorde was a gas guzzler. It consumed twice as much fuel as a Boeing 747 per flight hour. And because it was the sole jet of its kind, maintenance costs were up to 20 times more expensive than a Boeing 737 today. But the biggest problem? Money. You see, flying faster than the speed of sound was insanely expensive, and only the ultra-rich could afford it. A round-trip ticket could set you back $20,000, but what's worse is that the cabin was pretty cramped. This 2-2 seating layout has slightly more legroom than economy, and the windows were the size of your hand. To be honest, it doesn't look much more comfortable than a regional Embraer 175 jet. Finally, the Concorde was seriously loud. Its sonic boom disturbed everyone under its flight path, despite flying at 60,000 feet. So it was only allowed to fly over oceans, significantly limiting the routes airlines could fly with it. Despite this, the Concorde remains one of the most iconic jets around the globe and a testament to incredible mid-century engineering. Do you think supersonic travel will be any different in the near future? Let me know in the comments.